fish. Nice. Grab you the net, Joseph. Nice one. There it is. Beauty. <laughs> it is a nice one. Yeah. Good job. Let's Joe. get that out of the net, eh? Nice one. Hey, how you doing, everybody? Joe Henry, Lake of the Woods Tourism. I'm with my good buddy, Greg Jones of Midwest Outdoors. Yeah. And we are out on the walleye capital of the world, Lake of the Woods, today. And Greg, we literally just dropped in. Fish in less than five minutes, <laughs> that's for sure. You can see him on the graph. Oh, big perch, Greg. Big perch, yeah. huh? One of them. Oh, big jumbo. Jumbo cerutos. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, you know, one of, the, one of the great things about fishing Lake of the Woods, of course, is uh, you never know what you're going to catch. And, you know, we, uh, we normally don't catch a ton of perch on Lake of the Woods. It's not like you get filled buckets and buckets, but boy, I tell you, when you catch them, they are big perch. I don't know if you can tell by my hands, but that is an absolute jumbo perch. Incredible eating. Be an eater. Oh, there, give me a little kick. Another perch. Another oh, yeah. perch. Oh, big cow. That's a hint for <laughs> See what we got here. You got the hot hand today. Oh. Well, Greg, one of the techniques we love using is pulling spinners. It's a great way to catch them here, especially when that water warms up. It seems like you got to cover some water at that point in time. Well, you know, I'll tell you, these fish are spread out a little bit, and you, you, you pull a spinner like this with a night crawler, sometimes you use a minnow, sometimes a leech, normally a crawler. And you see in this one, I'm using a two hook harness. You know, right now we're targeting fish in about, Greg, what would you say, eight to 22 feet of water? Yep. yep. And, and that big stretch, but they're kind of spread out. We're just drifting that along and picking away at fish, and it's been going great. Spinner's a great way to catch them here. Thought we were getting too deep, Joe, but <laughs> I guess not. We've been starting these drifts in what, about seven, eight feet? There's fish all through there, too. Yep. Well, Greg, that's a, that's a nice, that's probably a 17 inch right there. Perfect, that's a perfect feeder, fish, yep, it? yep. But folks, I'll tell you what, we're out in our personal boat today, basically. And you know, if you have a personal boat, bring it up to Lake of the Woods, man, there's boat ramps on the Rainy River, across the South Shore, and many of the resorts, and certainly up at the Northwest Angle. I'll tell you, another nice option is a charter boat. Step aboard a charter boat. The rods, reel, tackle, bait, license, charter captain, everything's included. They're gonna put you on fish. They bring you in at five o'clock at night, and you know what, they're gonna clean the fish for you. It's a great way to go if you wanna bring your family, your friends, coworkers, whatever the case might be. Let's put this one on a stick, Greg. Yeah, I'm saying 17, let's 18, okay, so even better. But that's a nice keeper on Lake of the Woods. You know, folks, uh, the slot limit on Lake of the Woods, 19 and a half to 28 inches, you put them back, that preserves the future. You can keep one over 28 if you want to. Otherwise, you're allowed a combined limit of six walleyes and saugers. Up to four of those can be walleyes. You just can't keep anything between 19 and a half and 28. Let's put this in the live well. Giving you a tussle, huh? Ah, nice fish. I can see the uh, bones here, but I can't see the fish yet. That's stained water, right? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Good one. Look at that, yeah. Greg. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't get old, buddy. Never does. <laughs> Never does. You know, folks, there's basically three areas to Lake of the Woods. First off, you have the Rainy River, and the Rainy River feeds Lake of the Woods. There's actually 42 miles of navigable Rainy River from basically Birchdale all the way to the mouth of the Rainy River through Bidette. Then the second part, Greg, is the south shore of yep. Lake of the Woods, and that is the south shore of Big Traverse Bay, the great big open waters. And of course, the third part is the Northwest Angle. Now, as far as lodging goes, I'll tell you what, if you want to come up and stay in a hotel and go at one of their charters, you can do that. You want to stay in a small cabin, make your own meals, or maybe frequent the many different uh, restaurants in the area, you can do that. Or maybe you want to stay at one of the full service resorts that offers a bar and restaurant. Everything's provided. In fact, they'll offer you the American plan. The American plan is your fishing, your lodging, and all your meals included in one package price. Greg, uh, what do you say we get this fish back? Oh, let's let him go and get another one. Perfect. The net man today, Joe. That's the work of the team, don't we, Greg? Yes, sir. Trying to go underneath the boat. Yeah, we got a thumper. Focus on. It's important. Uh, it's important to set your drag, obviously, before you start fishing. And if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna err on anything, I'm gonna set my drag looser rather than Ooh. heavier. What do you got there? Nice big wall there. Look at that. 
There's a good one, Greg Allen. That, one. <laughs> that is a nice one. Hard fighter. Well, we've had a good day today, folks. We, we've got, Greg, we've got small fish, we've got eaters, we've gotten big fish, we've got perch. Yeah. I mean, it's just been, and I'll tell you, nobody around us, and we're looking at the screen, and there's fish periodically almost everywhere we're drifting over here. But, folks, I'll tell you something. If you want to come up and fish Lake of the Woods in the summer, I'll tell you what, the lake is healthy, the fishing's on fire. You know what, uh, it's, uh, let's just say, it's been darn good. You know what, for Greg Jones of Midwest Outdoors, I'm Joe Henry of Lake of the Woods Tourism. More Midwest Outdoors coming up next.